This is therefore my personal statement uh, based on the NASA deal between, and I'm just quoting it as it was written, it does therefore, doesn't mean I do not regard my brother as officially and uh, commonly referred to. But this is between Mr. Raila Amolo Odinga and Mr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, dated the 30th April 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin the fresh round of political negotiation in our country, leading to the August 2022 general election, I've been compelled to release the above document in order to answer in part some of the criticism that has been labeled against me to wit, and I quote, the indecisive kingmaker, end of quote, and the often quoted statement made before the NTV reporter, I believe that's my son Kennedy, to the effect that I would be a fool to support Honorable Raila Odinga a third time without a measure of reciprocity. In releasing this document, it is imperative to mention that I've tried twice to have Professor Makao Mutua convene a meeting between me and my brother, Honorable Raila Odinga, in his capacity as the depository of this most important document. On his part, Professor Macau stands in breach of his obligation under the agreement, since he has already joined Honorable Raila Odinga's campaign team. By accepting nomination of the Orange Democratic Movement to run as president for the fifth time, <coughs> I believe my brother Raila Odinga has committed an irreparable material breach of this agreement. Now that's a legal term defined, I quote, irreparable material breach shall mean a repudiation, reneging, a violation, or an, an ouster in any way of any of the articles of the agreement. Attending the ODM Delegates Conference, at which my brother was named a presidential flag bearer, would have meant on my part acquiescence of the impugned breach. I wish therefore to state as follows. My brother has the option of abiding by the terms of this live legal agreement, live binding legal agreement, and thereby emerging, in my view, as a true national, regional, and indeed continental democratic hero, or he has option of choosing to act in utter defiance and repudiation of the agreement and thereby compounding the trust deficit. In both cases, Honorable Raila Odinga remains a brother with whom I've labored in absolute good faith to bring true democratic change to our country. As already publicly expressed, I'm ready to work with him again under the three pillar grand coalition government for the sake of our nation. I urge that we engage in fresh negotiations. I urge that as we engage in fresh negotiations, this document forms the basis of such negotiation. I want to give you just a copy and actually spread. I will uh, I'll distribute the copies of the agreement. But I just want to highlight one or two small paragraphs in it. Uh, it's actually entitled the NASA deal. And uh, by its nature, this document was a secret document. 
But it starts by saying this memorandum is a binding legal agreement between the parties. And the parties have been explained. And uh, I've highlighted the paragraph which reads, the commitments made herein shall bind principal H, read Raila, and principal Q, read Kalonzo Musioka, in both the 2017 and 2022 elections. By this agreement, the parties agree that principal H will be NASA's presidential nominee and that principal Q will be his running mate. And then, most importantly, this agreement will remain valid until the 2022 elections, whether or not NASA wins the 2017 uh, presidential elections. Please underline the words, whether or not we won the elections. And on the Articles of Agreement, I highlight, I highlight Principle 2. Principle H agrees in a public MOU to serve one term and publicly endorse Principle Q as a presidential candidate for 2022. Therefore, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody has had any difficulty whatsoever with my sense of negotiation <laughs> and uh, my ability to play it straight and candidly, I hope today I've acquitted myself. I see the very nice headline, headlines today in the media, the tension, the tension between me and my brother. I want to tell you there's none. And uh, in effect, some of you say, I, I ask His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta to take leadership of the current round of negotiations. I think it's right and proper, considering he has a sense of authority, he's a sitting head of state, um, and whether some of you want to refer to him as an outgoing president, in my view, there are out, uh, the presidents who have been outgone in our region and still hold great sway, not only in their countries, but in the countries of the African region. That is why somebody like President Obasanjo, my friend President Kikwete, who is actually in town, and others continue to be revered heads of state. I see President Uhuru Kenyatta praying, playing that role into the future. But I want to urge that he plays even presently. So ladies and gentlemen, this was my personal statement. Um, as you can see, I don't even know where these uh, Washmiwas have come from. Somebody must have sent, <laughs> <laughs> somebody must have sent uh, a tweet or something, a hashtag personal statement, uh, and then people felt, yeah, the true volcano is here. And indeed it is.